Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. My art hotel. Namaste. Free the land, beloved. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. You know what time it is. I'm your sister with the curly braids, Vicki Dillard. And I am pleased that you have joined me today on my own channel here at VickiDillard.tv, beloved. It is so important that you are tapped in to the most important broadcast that you can possibly be connected to. And I say that crossing all spectrums, whether it be spiritual, metaphysical, natural, things involving your government, media, arts and entertainment, you name any sphere of influence, any area of people activity. And I will tell you that the Vicky Show is very important to it. Why? Because we're a voice for such a time as this concerning the remaking of the world. So I'm gonna need somebody to put a map and a globe in the chat. I said, we are crucial and we are essential to the remaking of the worlds. For those of you that are just tuning in, my name is Vicki Dillard. I'm an on-air, online personality. I have helped to build multiple large brands and networks. Many of you are used to seeing me there after giving my life force to build uh, other platforms and people. Of course, I am on still on other platforms uh, and I'm not on some of the others, but I am certainly um, going live more often, not, con not, con uh, not to mention uh, the overcoming of my health. I've made some major progress concerning my health, but I still have a little ways to go. Uh, so that has been the thing uh, uh, um, that's contingent upon how often I uh, am available to the public. But beloved, I'm pleased that you've joined me today here on my personal channel that I'm building. So let everybody you know know that if they're looking forward to seeing Vicky go live uh, on a regular basis, at least weekly, you can sit, tell them to help support my channel here, VickyDiller.tv. And again, I am on um, Instagram, Vicky X Dillard, V-I-C-K-I is how you spell my name. Uh, I am on um, TikTok. I am Vicky Dillard. I am on X, which is t t on the Twitter, uh, Dillard Vicky. I got a couple of Facebook pages at Vicky Dillard. I'm also on African Diaspora News Channel. Uh, you can find me on multiple, like I said, platforms and places. And this is just the beginning. Uh, some of you all affectionately call me from the streets, the Black Grass Roots, your queen of Black media. And of course, I have my upcoming book that's coming out after working on it for many years um, and so many delays. But I'm so pleased it'll be coming out in the upcoming months called The Dark Goddess Invasion. And this upcoming Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, go to my uh, uh, my uh, website at VickiPlant.com to register for my ancestors webinar uh, that I'll be doing uh, live with my dear brother and well-known respected mystic Rod Hayes. You don't want to miss it. Um, it's going to be so important um, for those of you that are attending, and there are many that have um, already signed up, but it has been a very long time I have done an Ancestors webinar. Um, and I, when I do it, I am commissioned by spirit and by my spiritual team high level entities to conduct this ancestors webinar. And for those of you that may or may not know, um, I teach about the, your royalty, your true royalty that's already in your blood. It's already in your vibration. Uh, but the purpose of these ancestors webinars, which I've never known one to exist. Uh, I've never heard of one before. Uh, I did one years ago um, where I am teaching the masses about the importance, the simplistic uh, introductory version of the importance of having an ancestral connection and what that means. Um, and, and some of the mainstream um, religions, they have taught us in a very diabolical and pernicious manner that our ancestors are demonic. Your open enemy, I argue, teaches you that in order to limit your power. Talk black to me. They tell you this to trick you out of the original power so that you won't know that you are indeed the ancient of days and you are the expression, the embodiment uh, of the God goddess, the original force and power. Talk black to me. So they have uh, corrupted uh, some of the sacred texts, combined them into uh, uh, an anthology of sorts 
shoved it down your throat, given you a misinterpretation, stolen it from previous ancient books, stolen it from the ancient black original prophetesses and priesthood that were responsible uh, for some of the prophecies uh, that some of your Europeans stole and corrupted so that they can control you first and foremost by and through your spirituality. Black folk are the most spiritual and religious people on the planet. That is the easiest way to keep us in bondage without us acknowledging that we're in bondage. And when some of our ancestors were in bondage and they still held close these spiritual practices, they did so with the understanding that they were enslaved in the name of Jesus. They did so thinking that it was God's will and that there was an actual ethical order and policy in which we should conduct ourselves in our oppression. So when you have somebody like your sister with the curly braids that's coming to you to contend with folk like the Vatican and even some of the principles from some of your major religions and to tell you that the false prophet mouse pieces like your Benjamin Netanyahu's and the multiple Zionist state entities that do not simply reside in the region that they call Israel, but also throughout these United States of America and our government. When you have somebody like your sister with the curly braids tell you the devil is a liar and I'm talking about the real devil. To let you know that they are not the authorized and divine rulers of the world, which is why it's in the shape that it's in. And when I'm bringing you some of the original or ancient knowledge that we were the ones that held divine authority and that you need to connect with my ancestors webinar so that you can remove certain low vibrational entity spells, hexes and curses off of your bloodline, reprogram them. We can do it together so that we can have a greater impact to remake the worlds because we're the new rulers. This is not something that you get to complain about and say, well, I'm not sure I should be there. If that's you, then don't. But know when a special time, when a divine portal has opened, know when the spiritual Ram and the earthly ram have, has a very thin portal for you to pass through. No when spirit sends somebody to you to give you knowledge that through the very words and revelation that I'm giving you is automatically activating your supernatural powers that's in you. Go to vickiplanet.com. Go to vickiplanet.com. I think somebody from my team should be coming in in just a moment to put uh, the link in the chat. It is this Sunday. You only have a day and a half to register. This Sunday, you only have a day and a half to register at Vicky Planet. To register at VickiPlanet.com. Uh, Are you all hearing me today? Thank you so very much. Looks like she put it there. Thank you so much um, to my beautiful team. The link is above VickiPlanet.com. Family, do not miss this opportunity to ship shape your life. Some of you are concerned that your family members are displaying disturbing patterns. Talk black to me. You're seeing certain behaviors that's been passed down that you don't want your children or your grandchildren to operate in. This is for you. Some of you have recognized that there are invisible blockages that you can't quite put your hands on. You are realizing that there are mindsets, there are economic uh, uh, blockages. blockages. They are also other spirits and entities that have something to do with that. Some of you understand that there is a slave master syndrome that's still at work in your bloodline, even though you are not in physical chains. This is for you. Some of you have visions and dreams of uh, concerning new things that you want to bring into existence. This ancestors webinar is for you. Any and everything that you desire to come to manifest in your life. And you need a connection and an access point too, so that you can first and foremost know what it is that you as an extension of your bloodline is supposed to be accomplishing. This is for you. It starts with you. Everything that I'm manifesting in my life concerning my spiritual contracts from the higher realms have to do with me understanding what's in me. Not what's outside of me. That's the trick. That's what I teach my students uh, when I was conducting at clubvicky.com. By the way, I am not uh, in that partnership with clubvicky.com right now. I'm going to be starting my own spiritual school under uh, my vickyplanet.com, which will be the Vicky Dillard Mystery School that's going to be uh, released monthly um, uh, um, 
at VickiPlanet.com. So stay tuned for that. It will absolutely change your life. It's very important that you connect yourself to that, beloved, and the knowledge and the information and the rituals and the insight that I'm going to be giving, giving you that's going to absolutely change your life. You cannot afford to miss this. Now, why am I talking about this? Because, beloved, when you look at the state of the world, we here in the United States of America, we foundational black Americans have been oppressed for going on 500 years before America was formerly America. We are responsible for this land and this creation that's known as America. So one of the reasons why I speak to geopolitical issues, global issues, is because number one, I'm the original woman. This is my world first and foremost. And the other people that populate and live on our planet, we have been very kind to share it with. But some of the newest people on our planet, most intensely for the past 500 years, have made a hell of it. And their time is up. And the ancient mystics and prophets declared that they had a limited time to rule. There's a higher government, a higher council that conducts business on multiple spheres and multiple dimensions in the ethers. And some of you don't know nothing about what's going on up there. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what they showed me and why you were born in this time. Yes, this is heavy. And yes, this is not just something you're going to read from the New York Times. You're not profound, beloved, because you went to broadcasting school and you can read from a teleprompter and you understand subject verb agreement. And you know the proper pronunciation of the diacritical marks that's in your thesaurus and dictionary. I'm unimpressed. You can't move nothing. You ain't no miracle worker. You maintain status quo. You maintain the matrix. You maintain modern slavery. We don't need you. You need a wild woman, baby. Get out of today. Funny looking self. The original woman. Everything else is just professional, fancy, embellished distractions. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share the broadcast. So yes, if you had any sense, during this webinar, I'm going to talk to you about some of my supernatural experiences and a couple of the messengers that came to me to tell me about specific things we're dealing with right now and some of the things that we can do about it. I'm going to be joined with my brother, Rod Hayes, who is a well-known and respected mystic that's going to break down some of the historical context, among other things, about who some of these ancient black prophetesses are and even some of their avatars that they're known by in other spiritual systems. We're going to be talking to you about the reason why the Vatican and all major religions and spiritual systems, where they stole or where they co-opted some of their ritual rites from, talk black to me. I love you back, D3D. I see you, Rachman. Y'all hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. So yes, you should be there. And register now because you only have about a day and a half. Whoever comes, no matter how large or small, this is an appointed time, a divine portal. In fact, tomorrow uh, is even the 11-11 portal. Um, which is very, very, very important and extraordinary. Some of you all know it as the Lion's Gate. Some of us do different types of spiritual rituals during that particular time, but it's no accident that that serves as the eve uh, for my uh, ancestors webinar that I have not done in such a long time. Uh, and also it's very interesting that when I do this, I tend to get a lot of pushback and a lot of warfare from knucklehead people that's running their mouths all over the place. But that just proves the importance and the power of what I am convening us to do. If you think that what the UN is doing is more important than this summit, you are out of your mind. If you think that what the United States is talking about in Washington, D.C. and Congress's games is more important than what I'm talking about. If you are worried about some modern day neocon Illuminati's, if you think that their meetings are more important than the convening that I'm going to be conducting, you are out of your mind. You are blind and you can't see. 
It is the reason after my 44 years on this planet that I endured so much hell for such a time as this. And I know you can't see it. And I know it sounds silly. But don't take my word for it. Take the power of the information that you hear. I didn't just say the information. I said, take the power of the information that you hear. Baby, just because you're saying the same word don't mean your words got power. Slowness. Repeating and copycat. I, I tweeted out earlier today. You know, I found out some, some something, something. I won't go there right now. Because I'm just not going to give these different individuals this kind of play. I tweeted out early today, just let them eat my leftovers. God, today! Somebody put some food in the chat. Somebody put a chicken bone in the chat. <laughs> Hell, you can put a doggy bone if you feel, you know, that's more appropriate. Can't be original. Can't never do this kind of magic. Let them eat the leftovers. These little copycats and stuff that be out here. These thieves and stuff. They be justifying their theft for stuff that you done did and stuff. Talk black like to me, somebody. I just said, child, please. Vicky is not going to be stressing about that. And I know I got my people that be like, Vicky, when you going to do this? You going to hold so-and-so? You going to do this? You going to make sure that so-and-so get judged? You going to make sure that you call out so Child, please. Child, I, 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 my, my unseen court is a fierce court. Baby. Even when I was in the belly of the beast, baby, they was beating down uh, high level entities. Some of my enemies, honey, too many of the number got, got obituaries and I didn't have nothing to do with it. I looked like I was losing when my unseen court went after them. Don't play with it. Hell, I was shocked. God, today I was like, where's so and so? Y'all better hit that thumbs up button, share, share, share. You are out of your mind if you think that any other council convening or assembly is more important than the one that I'm going to be doing this Sunday, November 12th. Go to vickiplanet.com. That's vickiplanet.com. Baby, don't play with it. I said, don't play with it. I said, the knowledge we're giving you. Do you all know that for the past few weeks, I have already been doing high level spiritual work for those that are registering already? Half the breakthrough is already done. That's how intense this is. And what it requires of me to do this and to channel this for you. Now, let me get to where I'm going. I want you to listen to this clip. Thank you all, by the way, so much. Do you all know that my cash apps, y'all have been blessing me with cash apps, blessing me with PayPal's family. Thank you all so much. And a matter of fact, let me get my, uh, my assistant to come back here. I want to show you something. Family, I just posted on Instagram about you getting um, some of my pre-sales, right? And for my magazine, you all, I think it's right here, uh, the magazine, um, for some of my pre-sales, right? And I was telling you it was coming. This has been long awaited, you know, because of so many business transitions I've had in my health and some other things. It took a while. Uh, for me to finally get this going. Of course, I got my book that's pending. Thank you. I've got my book that's pending. I got a lot of new business transitions that's coming. The Vicky Dillon Mystery School is coming out soon. That's going to replace Club Vicky and so forth and so on because I actually don't control all of that legally. Um, and so you all know that I'm not a messy person. I'm one with class. I cross my T's and dot my I's. So more announcements as appropriate will be made, but I want you to stay tuned for that. Somebody say, wow, Vicky doesn't look 44. Oh, who said that? Thank you, beloved. Uh, but I don't need, I don't mind child, please. I, the moment I hit 40, I was child, please. The 40s are absolutely amazing. Uh, talk black to me, somebody. Uh, somebody said, if you would like to give God as Vicky Queen, her cash app is dollar sign OPW Vicky V I C K. Thank you so much. Our moderators are highlighted in blue. They're going to be putting important information, important links in the chat. Family, so we posted this today. We're already getting sales before I officially posted this on Instagram. Thank you all so much. This is a luxury magazine. It is my own. It's been my creation. I've had this in my heart for a very long time. Bit by bit, um, I started to put it together. Um, like I said, there was just lots of business things going on, health things going on. And so things are finally coming together. So we're doing pre-sales on the hard copy. Uh, in a few weeks, we're going to make the digital version of this available. But for now, we're doing just for baby one week, if, if that, 
Um, we're just going to do pre-sales and then I'm going to cut it off based on my pre-sales. And it's only those who do the pre-sales that's going to be able to actually have the hard copy. And family, for uh, my uh, brothers, this is for you too. Get this for the lovely lady in your life. This has to do with revealing sacred secrets for the divine feminine, womb secrets. The divine feminine woman, we manifest, we're meant to manifest differently. And some of the things that I'm going to be sharing in activations and some of the insights are some of the insights that were actually shared in some of the ancient Isis temples that only the initiated were a part of. These are some of the things that I've channeled, some stuff I've learned over the years that came to me supernaturally. So every quarter, um, I'm going to be releasing to you information. So what you're getting, what you're purchasing uh, is a luxury magazine that I'm making accessible. And I'm talking about luxury, not in the limited sense that most people think of a luxury. I'm talking about abundance to make abundance and luxury available for us every day. Divine feminists talk black to me just because we don't have a million dollars. It doesn't million dollars doesn't mean we shouldn't be experiencing the best in life. And it doesn't mean we can't have high level experiences. Talk black to me. Somebody I said, this is for the everyday feminine. And so the information you're paying sis, is like, you're part of a goddess secret society. So, um, and of course I'm a small business. So the price, reflects that as well as this being a special edition. So go to vickiplanet.com, the same link. All you need to do is go to the store. You can access it at the same website at vickiplanet.com. We're so, so excited. It's going to take a few weeks before you get it because these are pre-sales. Like I said, after we get the hard copies uh, going, then we're going to make it available digitally. But this is going to be for our folks um, that is going to get the first official edition. Y'all look at me on the back cover. Ah! Y'all look at me on the back cover. It's going to really make the haters mad. They don't want you to be expected no manifestation abundance, but that's too bad. So say, I just did something right there. Now, I asked a question, and I know, like, I know some of y'all saying, "Vicky, you finally getting to the question." <laughs> I asked the question: Is where is T.D. Jakes in the Black Church concerning the Zionist? Where is T.D. Jakes in the Black Church concerning? Um, this godless, savage, diabolical, and satanic war that's being unleashed upon the uh, Palestinian people. You all know I ride for Foundation of Black Americans. I've already explained multiple times why I talk about international issues and what it has to do with us. So you can look at my interview that I did uh, a few weeks ago with my brother, Richard Sudan, who's a UK reporter. Um, all you need to do is go to my live videos and you can watch it. In fact, you can go to the regular videos too because I think my team put out a replay on it recently as well. So I explain in detail why it's important that we talk about these kinds of things. Uh, first and foremost, the planet is ours. We're the world rulers. And when you look at the shape of the world today, you can find out that it's in a hell of a condition because the powers that shouldn't be have no business ruling the world. We're up next. But this ancestors webinar is meant to help you be prepared for that. Yes. I'm going to say this thing. In fact, you know what? I'm going to say it after the fact. Copyright Act of 1976 allowances made for purposes such as fair use, criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is used permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit educational personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. I was listening to this former UN inspector by the name of Mr. Ritter. And Mr. Ritter, who was humiliated before the U.S. Congress because when he did his inspection, he was the one that was sounding the alarm to tell the world that there was no weapons of mass destruction when the United States was trying to conduct an unjust war against Saddam and so forth. Y'all remember that? Well, this particular man pissed off the United States government because this U.N. inspector whose job it is is to verify the veracity of such serious claims came back and told the United States, no, it, 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 it's, it's actually not true. So they tried to humiliate him before Congress. Um, so some of you may remember some of those things that happened so many years ago. He did an interview recently that I saw, and he made an interesting statement about who he says is running the government in the United States of America. Listen to what he says. Israel. Bam, ladies and gentlemen, you just found out the whole thing. U.S. Congress is bought and paid for by the Israeli lobby. Uh, did y'all hear what he said? Who did I say it's just said that? 
Scott Ritter was a United States weapons inspector from Iraq, in Iraq, excuse me, I said from Iraq, in Iraq, from 1991 to 1998. He was a chief inspector in 14 of the most, 14 of the more than 30 inspection missions in which he participated. Did y'all hear that? Somebody say, so this is no dummy. He became a major voice of opposition in the run-up to and during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, I mentioned that already, being one of the few analysts who said there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And he was right. Because of his insight, he's become well-known analysts uh, concerning the U.S. wars and proxy wars, particularly in Russia and Ukraine. So in this interview, Don't take my word for it. he says something that many of us already know, but I don't want you to hear me say it. Yeah, but at the same time, I'll let you listen time. to him say it. Prime Minister. This is a Did short you... clip. He's on with this lady named um, Kim Iverson. I'm not endorsing her per se. Sometimes some of her content makes some sense, but I had to put her in her place when it came down to reparations for black people. So, you know, that's always a test for me. Uh, you know, fund the U.S. military. Nope. We're going to send money to Israel. Bam, ladies and gentlemen, you just found out the whole thing. U.S. Congress is bought and paid for by the Israeli lobby, by Israel. Don't take my word for it. Arya Sharon openly bragged about it when he was prime minister. Benjamin Netanyahu openly brags about it. They disrespect us so much that they buy our Congress, and then they brag about owning us, about owning it. And the proof is in the pudding. When the Speaker of the House, first order of business at a moment when America is suffering so much to send more money to Israel, you know who's running the show. Yeah. And it, I talked about that on Twitter. Um, Johnson, the new uh, Republican Speaker of the House, when he went, when they were asking what's his first order of business, the first thing he said, uh, 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 of course, wasn't reparations. It was not even about Americans in general. You would think he would even halfway say that. No, the first thing he said was about securing uh, 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 Israel. Now, I want you to listen to something else very quickly. Today's a very, very brief broadcast, but I'm making some very strategic and specific points. Notice he used the word Israel. You're going to see hear the word interchangeably Zionist because there's a difference between the geographical area of Israel. There's also a difference between the actual ideology of Zionism. Now, I want to tell some of my brothers and sisters out there who have a Christian background, uh, uh, like I uh, like I do. I'm in Mississippi, so there was a whole bunch of churches, a whole bunch of Baptist churches, Methodist churches, a couple of Lutheran, Catholic and stuff, but mostly Baptist churches. So the only thing that we were used to hearing growing up was so-and-so, so-and-so, Mount Zion Baptist Church. Stop trying to be somebody. So there's a subconscious connection that some of us make to where we automatically think that this has something to do with righteousness. Talk black to me. It doesn't. And some of the people that embrace Zionism don't necessarily live in Israel. They are running the government, media, the banking system, the weapons system, the, the weapons industry, and so much more. Now, I'm not going to go too deep on that. That's why I'm letting you listen to certain experts make certain important points. I want you to listen to this clip very quickly here. While I'm speaking, everybody hit that thumbs up button, share, share, share. Again, if you're just coming in, my name is Vicki Dillard. I know you, some of you all used to see me on multiple other platforms. You are watching me now here at VickiDillard.tv, which is my personal channel. While I am still on certain platforms, I'm not on others. So we're going to be making um, some programming announcements in due course. But in the meantime, I want you to continue to support, subscribe, and share, share, share VickiDillard.tv content. Family, I'm almost got just got a few minutes here um, because I'm doing more preparation for Sunday. But I want you to listen to this one brief clip here as well. Y'all hit that thumbs up button, share, 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 and be sure to sign up for this Sunday's Ancestor webinar so that you can break limiting hexes, curses off your family uh, 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 bloodline, learn about your spiritual and divine authority, as well as begin to operate reprogrammed in new forms of power so that you can manifest destiny. What's unequivocal about the life that I'm living now is that I am on purpose. I'm manifesting the unique contract between me and the unseen government that I was connected to before I was ever birthed by my mother. Talk black to me. And I'll be briefly discussing some of those concepts that relate to you. And again, I'll be joined 
by my dear brother, Rod Hayes, who's going to be breaking down some of the Vatican rights and the black Sibyls and some of their avatars that were stolen. Don't come up here talking about Christianity and this, that, and the third and talk about it's just the Bible, it's just Jesus. When you you playing dumb and showing your ignorance because there were other systems that predated it. Talk black to me, somebody. So my question is, where's T.D. Jakes in the black church at? Are they running around talking about how Israel is still their brothers and sisters in Christ? Are they justifying the innocent killing of, 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 of a whole lot of children, mostly children in Palestine, talking about it's the Lord's will and they're the chosen people? Somebody says you, you must be sick and out your mind if you're part of the church justifying the bloodshed. The Lord ain't got nothing to do with that. And you're not going to take those scriptures that I mentioned before that Netanyahu used invoking Amalek and the Amalekites where it was told to destroy everybody, including women and children, to use it as justification for the, uh, 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 the Zionists over there. That's a different story. And even the area of Israel that's situated there, as well as Rome, as well as Italy, as well as Greece, and as well as some of the other areas that we tend to attribute to white Europeans, I'm going to break down what this has to do with the black sibyls, the black women that the world came to to get guidance. And the area that's making all the headlines now while we ignore Sudan. Not me, because I've been doing geopolitical coverage of Sudan. While well, we've been ignoring the uprisings in the Sahel and West Africa. Not me, because I've been doing geopolitical content. They've been ignoring those wars. I'm going to bring it all together to help you to understand that even those geographical areas, including Russia and Ukraine. Baby, I'm, man, y'all can play, me with you, play with me if you want to. I'm going to talk to you briefly about the authority and what the divine messenger came and told me many years ago about those regions. Y'all don't play with me. I said, don't play with me. Hit the thumbs up button. Where is T.D. Jakes and the black church at on this? They're ill-equipped. The church is not ready for this level of power. Her spiritual power lacks and is wanting. It's a thing to be laughed at. I think this is a clip. Here it is. I think it's about time we stop those of us who support as most of us do. Israel. Whose voice is that from 1986 family? Whose voice does that sound like? I got to go after this. Family, before I let you see the, 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 the face on the video clip, Somebody tell me, whose voice does that sound like? 1986, I was what? Seven years of age. Whose voice is that, family? Before I even show you the clip, you got that right, D-Dub. Jim Crow Joe, you got it, baby. You got it, Eunice. What did Joe Biden say in June, on June 5th, 1986? I saw this sometime back, but I saw this even more recently on this particular on a uh, YouTube clip. And I prefer those a lot of times when I'm going live because it's, it's, it's easier for me to control. Meaning to cue when I'm trying to cue up something. I want you to think about something. Hear with your own ears that Joe Biden said. Almost 40 years ago, it might have been said it long before that, but I'm talking about it was captured then. And he said it even as recently as 2023. Watch this. Here we go. Share, 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 family. Here we go. If we look at the Middle East, I think it's about time 
We stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body, for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made. None. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Whether or not in Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel. I am with my colleagues who are on the floor of the Foreign Relations Committee, and we worry at length about NATO. And we worry about the eastern flank of NATO, Greece and Turkey, and how important it is. They pale by comparison. They pale by comparison in terms of the benefit that accrues to the United States of America. First of family, all, family, when he talks about NATO, for those of you that don't know, the United States was involved in a coup in 2014 in Ukraine. When the Soviet Union fell, we promised Russia, which was obviously a part of Ukraine, well, which was obviously a part of, excuse me, the Soviet Union, that we would not expand NATO. NATO was in part initiated by the United States so that she could assert her imperialist arm even in the European area. We lied to Russia after the Soviet Union fell because Russia was just one part of the Soviet Union, promising that we would not expand NATO. We didn't keep that word. We were mess making in Ukraine's democratically elected president many years ago, but because the Ukrainian president years ago was pro Putin, the United States got involved to mess make and overthrow the democratically elected president of Ukraine. So this war with Ukraine, this problem, this schism with Ukraine actually predates 2014, but most explicitly 2014 that was in, uh, specifically involving a U.S. government diplomat by the name of Victoria Nuland, who I've covered on a number of occasions on African Diaspora News Channel. This white woman, Karen, that is a European like Hillary Clinton, who plots the assassination and murders of folks like Muammar Gaddafi and brags about it. Talk black to me. She got your first black president to assassinate this man. For those of you that don't know why is Vicky talking about Muammar Gaddafi because Libya is in Africa. And he was trying to make cohesive a uh, uh, united Africa. And he was willing to put the gold, the money, the resources and everything behind it. She's your little Hillary Clinton mess making European. Her and 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 uh Ursula von der Leyen, the EU President Commission Commissioner. These white women that be running around the world plotting the murders of heads of state, trying to mess make and get governments in place around the world for the benefit of the United States of America so that she can continue her hegemony around the globe. Why am I bringing this up? Because your sister with the curly braids, born and raised in Mississippi, now living in the wild, wild west. We have been called as the true mothers and rulers taking, retaking the throne of the black ancient sibyls, not only the high priestesses, but also the priesthood that took place in the world. Why am I emphasizing the spiritual aspect of this? Because this is our supernatural advantage over the powers that shouldn't be. When we activate our spiritual black magic, that gives us the advantage. But most of us don't even honor our ancestors. Most of us are told they're demonic. Most of us don't even understand what that means. We're not tapped into our supernatural powers. And then if somebody like me tells you about it, and then I begin to draw connections to even places in scripture that you can't justify, that you call pagan practices, acts of divination, stuff that you call satanic. I'm helping to make sense of that to let you know that whoever has divine rule is the one that is sanctioned to actually rule the world. And the reason I'm emphasizing these black women, these matriarchs that the world came to for guidance is because you must understand that my ancestors webinar is about your royal bloodline, but you don't understand how is the bloodline not only determined, but how does this eternal life go about how does this eternal life continue? 
you got to have a womb slowness. God, today. <laughs> you got to have a womb. I'm going to let my brother Rod Hayes give you a lot of the factual geographical knowledge and the different avatars of these black women. But my job, first and foremost, I'm going to be doing my little talk, but I'm been doing, I'm going to continue my rituals during the webinar so that you can get manifestation and breakthrough in you and your family. We have a greater effect when we do it together. Be sure to register for this Sunday. You only have a day and a half to register. VickiPlanet.com. The link is above. Let me tell you something. If you want something you never had, you got to do something you've never done. Let me tell you something. I know this is a big deal for you all to think. Could it be? that we are truly the new world rulers? Could it be that all of these uprisings throughout the planet is actually happening because there's actually war in the heavens? God, today. Could it be that in an unseen realm, there are actually invisible councils and assemblies that you can't see that's, that's at work there? I always say this to my spiritual students. That's why you need to be ready to join my upcoming Vicky Diller Mystery School that's coming out in uh, December. I teach my spiritual students all the time about this unseen court. I teach you all all the time that there are even certain thoughts that you think, ideas that you get, and you wonder where you picked it up from. Because these are circles of power in the unseen that are at work. But you can, through proper ranking and consistent ritual, participate in some of that. Some of them are actually what's manipulating things that's happening on earth. There are some things that are rising up on the earth that's not happening just because so-and-so, so-and-so thought was up. Some of you all think that some of your thoughts you thinking, you really think that that was just you. Some of you don't even realize when you're getting divine transmission and when you're getting flickers of insight from another realm and what that means right now. Let me tell you, I didn't always know and I'm still learning as a curious student. But some of the things that I'm manifesting now, it's not by accident. It's exactly why I went through some of the tumultuous hell that I went through, the multiple hells, the multiple Gehennas. And I want to share with you why it's our time to rule. And the things that you see happening in the world today, we are its solutions. But it comes from within. It has to do with our bloodline. And we're going to talk to you about that. And most importantly, you've got somebody like me that's doing spiritual work for you and your family. Hit the link above. I hope to see you this Sunday, November 12th, 2 p.m. Eastern. Go to vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com. Or just hit the link above. Make the investment in yourself and your family and your loved ones. But I wanted to specifically talk about, let you listen to these clips where Joe Biden, for example, said that if we did not have a Israel in the Middle East, he said we had to create one. Why do you all think that 40 years ago almost Joe Biden said that? Brother, Zebulon said, Vicky, this is heavy. Yes, it is heavy. Why do you think Joe Biden said out of his mouth that if we did not have an Israel in the Middle East, and I'm going to be talking to my attendants about this. Why would he say that? I think it's about time we stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body, for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made. None. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Whether or not in Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. He said to protect her interest in the region. In, in the region. Family, what you all don't understand is not only because of oil, it includes that. It's not only because of the natural resources that happens to be in that area. The United States the reason she mess makes and controls behind the scene the continent of Africa, the reason she mess makes and control behind the scenes what we call the so-called, we call the so-called Middle East, because how many of you all know that much of the Middle East is really Africa and also parts, certain parts of Asia. Watch this. The reason she does that is because it has a lot to do with the uh, 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 the shipping and port, uh, portering, portals, uh, porting system. Listen. And if America doesn't mess make by having Israel, which is an extension of the United States in that region, to keep up hell, do you think 
that if the African continent, if the Middle Eastern countries and so forth weren't focused on conflict amongst themselves, don't you all know that they would be the true superpowers of the world and the United States of America can't have that? When you are spending your years and decades, and if you just saying, well, this is a war that the Muslim and Jews been fighting for all them thousands of years, that's a lie. And I'm going to explain to you where some of the Jews and the Muslims got their religion from. It's not about religious wars. They give you that. They give that food for the masses so that you can just ignore the hidden hands of what the neocons and the other corporations are doing. And they use our armies and militaries as their policemen around the world. When the so-called third world countries, which I prefer to call developing countries, when they are fighting amongst themselves, when you all say, well, there's always a coup over there. There's always fighting going over there. There's always some corruption. No, that's intentional. It's the traditional divide and conquer concept of the American imperialist order. And we ain't nothing but Britain. Don't play with it. Your so-called founding fathers and mothers were them same devils that ran over here to this part of the world. T.D. Jakes ain't telling you this. Creflo Dollar and them ain't telling you this. They sitting up there talking about, which I'm all about prosperity and all this kind of stuff, but I'm saying the church is useless because they're sitting up here calling the John Hagees of the world, the Daystar and TBN networks. They're calling these devilish entities their brothers and sisters in Christ. And do you all know, I intentionally some days ago went through some of the Christian networks, which I haven't seen in God knows how many years, some of them. But I was led to watch some of them. I was flipping through the channels. They're, they are literally collectively raising millions of dollars to murder people. And they're doing it in the name of Jesus. Can't nobody tell me better than me because I was raised up in this kind of teaching, this technology, fool. I know some of you scared to death. Just me saying it. Because you have been taught about the apocalypse. You've been talked to, talk to about the rapture. You've been talked to about the end times and hell. But I'm challenging that. The thing that scares you the most, you can't tell me nothing. And I'm going to talk about this in great detail. It is the true stronghold that wraps up your mind to be stupid and to operate as the devil himself. You don't even know who and what the true antichrist is. Who is the real devil? And who has the courage to say it for sure? The original woman, the most ancient being on the planet. Restoring our throne and our divine insight because the divine black sibyls were connected to the cosmos. They were connected to an unseen realm. And yes, there was a prophetic reason that the divine allowed their rulership to be destroyed at that time. But how many of you all know it's a new day? You don't understand resurrection. You don't even understand why you've been born for this particular time. I'm pleased to help you with that. Somebody said Constantine Church is America. Talk black to me. Somebody said challenge as we should. That's right. You were born for this moment. Don't miss it. Hit the link in the chat. Share this broadcast. Subscribe. I got to go. I love you so much. I'm just letting you know by playing those few clips that Joe Biden and many others are admitting. And also I played for you, Mr. Ritter, the former UN inspector who was the one that was warning that there were no weapons of mass destruction when, uh, when we were invading Iraq. He said that America's taken over by Israel, by uh, uh, Zionists and so forth, right? Paraphrasing. Joe Biden said 40 something years ago, and Joe Biden said even recently in 2023, that if we didn't have an Israel, we have to create one. Have you all ever scratched your head and say, I oh, was that acceptable that he says that and exactly what does he mean? Have you ever asked yourself, why in the hell would Joe Biden say 
nearly 40 years ago that if Israel didn't exist, we would have to create one. First of all, that's an acknowledgement that the United States of America creates colonies around the world and use terrorists and mess makers. All this talk about there's terrorism, this terrorism. Do you know there's overwhelming evidence the United States is the one that creates the terrorist? So that she can justify being on, for example, the African continent and other places to steal their resources and to oversee what's going on in those areas. And you got to understand what your place is in it all. Our work is first spiritual. Because everything you see came from everything you can't see. Let me say it again. I teach this principle. I have a whole series called The Blueprint. The blueprint is the guide for making something. Everything you see, which our ancient, our ancient mystics and philosophers, they knew this zillions of years ago. Your metaphysicians are just now admitting what was obvious to our ancients, that everything you see came from everything you can't see. What does that mean? That means that if you spend more time shaping the unseen, silly, you will have greater agency over what you can see over your 3D outcomes. Talk black to me. That's the reason why we do these spiritual ancestor courses. Spiritual stuff seems foolishness to the natural eye. That's how it's supposed to be. I can't wait to see you Sunday, November 12th. Hit the link in the chat or go to vickyplanet.com. Make the investment in you and your entire lineage. Be sure to share this broadcast. Subscribe. We're the new world rulers. And I'm going to connect some dots for you concerning Israel, uh, concerning the Zionist. And my brother Rod Hayes is going to take it further. And I'm going to continue to do rituals and stand in the gap for you and your family. Talk black to me, somebody. Somebody said, me too, prophetess. prophetess. I love you all so much. I bow to you. I'm your sister with the curly braids. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>